Oh, I didn't see that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. love using this thing, man? <laughs> <laughs> he felt that pressure. <laughs> hold on, I can't move in the check, huh? How long have I been here? Hold on, hold on. I've been here more than no, one no, move. No, just when I pushed it, and then you moved your rook, and then... Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think you moved your rook. Where was your rook? Right here? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. all right. So all this right was on, the right position. On, right on, yeah. right on, right on. All right on. Okay. So what would you do here? All right. Wow. This is interesting. <laughs> so I guess I have to make the best move. Uh, I would agree. Ugly. Yeah, you have to move up. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. King man. Oh, we got a wise guy, eh? <laughs> 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 we got a wise guy, eh? Oh, we got two spots, man. Two spots. Oh damn. Oh, he wants to be a hero, man. Ooh. <laughs> good one, good one. Good one, good one. <laughs> Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and let's go over it to see what we can learn. Um, this game is kind of like one of the reasons why chess can be so brutal because up until this point, it was pretty much even. There wasn't really big advantage either way and it's just one move, one move that uh, kind of was his downfall and in this, in this position, um, the Grey Jedi Knight took the pawn and to show you how brutal it is, Right here it's negative 0.9 and here it's negative 21 so <laughs> that was really yeah one wrong move uh, he played so good you know up until that point and I don't blame him you know it's uh, running low on time and this kind of structure can kind of mm, freak you out a little bit with the pawns rolling down but um but let's pause the video here instead of bishop takes what would have been another move for white here Okay, bishop e5 comes to mind, and um, if black pushes a2, then king in the corner, and this looks um, cramped for, for white, but he's actually fine. His light squares are covered here, and um, if black pushes a4, take rook over, queen up, because black will try to um, get in on these dark squares, but when the bishops are swapped off the queen is guarding and rook takes rook over rook to defend and everything is fine here in this position it's a negative point two so these kind of moves seem a little scary but um when it's all said and done all the scores are covered and and uh white doesn't need a panic he just needs to play um just solid and he's completely fine so yeah that was it. That was the only um, blunder in the game for him. So, 
Very, very good game. And for those of you who are curious about Grey Jedis, um, I don't think they are canon in Star Wars. Like, I don't think Disney legitimizes them for the um, for the mainstream Star Wars kind of history canon. But from what I remember reading about them, they're like they're they're Jedi who don't like follow the Jedi Council and they dabble in the dark side. They they're not afraid to use it, but they don't get succumbed to it, you know. And um, I think that's very interesting. They're kind of like rogue Jedi, but um. Yeah, uh, dabbling in the dark side, I'm not so sure about that. It's like playing with hot coals, right? You might not get burned, but eventually one day you might get burned. So kind of a very dangerous line to walk, but very intriguing philosophy. And um, I, Okay, this is going to sound corny, but <laughs> one of the reasons why I like chess is kind of like it's, it's like active meditation. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. You have to be very present in the moment, you know, figure out what your best move is, but also think of the future, you know, think of all the lines that could happen, but then co come back to the present, make sure you make the best move and you're not missing anything, and I'm sure all of you guys can relate to this, where, it, you know, it, you have a game where everything just flows right, like, you, you, you're thinking of all the great ideas, you're seeing all the combos, you're seeing all the threats, you're making the sacks, you know, you're making those brilliant moves, and man, when that happens, it's such a good feeling, but it doesn't really happen that often. I'm talking about kind of those immortal-ish type games. <laughs> and speaking of which, it's like, it's funny because sometimes when you think you have a game, right, and then you go back and you put it in the computer, you realize all the stuff that you missed and that your opponent missed, so it kind of tarnishes the game. But nonetheless, I mean, it's a really good feeling to have, you know, that, that kind of um, game, so... Just wanted to uh, throw that out there, yeah. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.